hey, I just wanted to jump on quick because it's Valentine's Day, the day of hearts and flowers and uh, greeting cards with flowers on them and candy boxes shaped like hearts and all that romantic stuff. You know, it all started though with a martyrdom story or it might have started with two martyrdom stories because there's actually two St. Valentines on the list of saints. But a lot of people think that it's just one guy who got on there twice by accident. One of them is listed as a bishop, though, and the other is listed just as a regular priest. One of the St. Valentines, I don't know which one, this is the legend anyway, he was in jail and he cured the blindness of the jailer's daughter, and then he sent her a letter or a note or a card that he signed, Your Valentine. That was the first Valentine. There's also a story that he used to cut out hearts from parchment and give them to the persecuted Christians to remind them of their faith. And that makes sense because the heart was originally a Christian symbol. You know, it was the sacred heart of Jesus, which represented the passion and the purity of Jesus's heart. And that just morphed into a romantic thing because you know, that's all emotion. And it makes sense that people would think emotion would come from the heart because it feels kind of like it does, even though it's really probably more coming from here. I don't know. Um, so that became the romantic symbol of the heart. But the cavemen actually drew hearts on the cave wall, so the symbol goes way back before then. It's just that we don't know back then whether it meant the same thing to the cavemen that it means to Hallmark today, or if it just had a totally different reason. All we know is that the symbol appears on cave walls, which is pretty interesting, I think. Now, it's been years since I had a Valentine, like an actual, you know, person to receive the goodies and to send me flowers, kind of a Valentine. And I'm not telling you that so you'll feel bad for me because that has been largely by choice, mostly. Yeah, mostly by choice. Um, but what I have had instead of that, and I know you can have both, but what I've had instead of that is really, truly wonderful friends. And... A lot of them I don't see that often, you know, distance is a factor and it becomes more of a factor as you get older because people tend to spread out more. And then you add a layer of nomads to that, you know, so there you might be camping next to somebody and be like totally like this and then you won't see them again for a year or maybe they'll turn up in the next caravan. You just never know when you're going to see somebody again. And then for me, there's another layer on top of that and that's you guys. Most of you I've never met but I feel like I have. And I know that's kind of corny, but it's true, that's how it feels. Uh, I've had an opportunity in the last couple of weeks to meet a couple of you in person, you know, to hang out with you or camp with you, and that has been awesome. But even if we've only met like in the comments or on the Facebook group or in the live streams or, you know, on this new community tab that they just gave us, even if that's the only place we've ever met, I still feel like you know me and I know you and that makes us friends. So I thought I would just jump on here and say happy Valentine's Day to my friends here and tell you how delighted I am that you're here, you know, that we're building this community and how much I'm looking forward to getting to know you better. And yeah, that's sappy. Valentine's Day is sappy. Get over it. But seriously, like in the past year and a half, the stuff I've been through, you know, closing my store, moving cross country, getting used to like how different my life is now, losing cowboy. I mean, all those things, through all of that, making these videos for you has been, honestly, it's been my greatest pleasure. And so when you react to them, I don't know, it's good, you know? I mean, I feel, I feel we got a thing going here, you know? So happy Valentine's Day, my friend wherever you are.